Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Atlas and I am very, very excited tonight and starving. I have not done a massive steak challenge in forever. So this is gonna be a fun one tonight. I'm going for overall win number 1042. It's my first time in the great city of Janesville, Wisconsin. I am here at Prime Quarter Steakhouse. Now there's three locations in Wisconsin and Illinois. The other Wisconsin location is in Green Bay and then there's one in Princeton, Illinois. But I am here for their massive 40 ounce Beef Eater Steak Challenge. Now, as you can see here, I've got two. They've had thousands of people attempt this thing. There's a 75 minute time limit. You've got to finish their 40 ounce sirloin steak, no bones involved. Along with that, you've got to finish a baked potato and then a piece of Texas toast and then a side salad. You actually get to make the side salad yourself. They have people try it like every night almost. A lot of people win. And that is why I am going to try to do two. Nobody's ever completed two at any of their locations. So I'm gonna still try to do it within the 75 minutes. Now, if you do the base challenge, you pay $41.95. It is a pay to play, but if you win, you get a medal just like this to come back and use later, and you pretty much get $35 off your meal. So that is awesome, but if I win, I think I'm still gonna have to pay for one, but they're gonna let me use one of these to pay for the other. So still, it'll be a great deal to only pay 42 bucks for all this steak. But let's get this challenge started. All right, no hat turn tonight because I still have to pay half price, but I'm okay with that. It is gonna be delicious. I've had so many people tell me that they've actually won the challenge and that the steak is delicious. They have a whole bunch of steak options. As you can see, a lot of the people that come to a prime quarter location, they actually cook the steak themselves. A lot of people are doing that. Like one third of the people actually have them cook it for you. That's actually what I did because I'm not that good at grilling, but I got the medium rare. Thanks of course everybody with Prime Quarter Steakhouse for having us in. One two, three, boom. All right, I've got my Excalibur, let's get cutting. Somebody's done one steak in three minutes, but it was all cut up beforehand, that's still crazy. That's like Molly time. All right, I'm gonna have to cut up smaller bites than that one. The steak is juicy and I am enjoying it. Very well cooked. Still under five minutes in, we're doing well. This garlic bread is amazing. There has to be a lot of butter on that, as good as it is. Look at how amazing that is. The chef is actually right behind me. He did an awesome job. The master of meat. What's your name? Pedro. Oh, Pedro is the man. Cooked a very good steak. Okay. Thankfully, not well, because it's medium rare. If it was well, this would take me a lot longer. Well would make my mom happy. It's pretty cool here. They have like a whole refrigerator of all the different cuts and options you can choose from, and you basically get to pick which one you want, and then you're welcome to go grill it. It's really cool. I've never been to a place like this. This wasn't my original plan, but just to make things easier, I am gonna do the first one and then I'll work on the second. I haven't cut into this because I want all the meat to stay warm, but mm, 
Let's get some healthy fibrous salad and vegetables to help digest all that steak. I wasn't really smart with this salad. It's like I didn't get enough protein already with the steak, so I added eggs. But I like hard-boiled eggs on salads. I did get French dressing on this. Katina was right, this is friggin' hot. I should have unwrapped it earlier. But thankfully, if I'm still hungry after this, as part of the meal, you do get unlimited salad bar. If I'm still hungry, I'll get some more healthy vegetables. No dessert tonight. Ah, okay, I'm done with the first. My official time for the first one was 14 minutes and 48 seconds. Now let's work on the second. I'm gonna start out with this Texas toast because it was amazing. This is gonna take me a little longer than the first. It looks equally as delicious. I don't think I can do three of these, that's for sure. And I could have ordered this to come out right as I was done with the first, but I wanted both for the thumbnail. Again, look at this steak. That is amazing. Deliciously cooked. Way better than I would have done if I cooked it myself. I am taking too big of a bite. I should be following foodchallenges.com and cutting smaller pieces. I'm showing Katina what not to do, who's going after me. We're making great time. We just hit 20 minutes and 30 seconds in. We have forever to go. We're gonna get it. As you can see, we're here during prime time on a Sunday. Tons of people using the grill. It is a charcoal grill, and they use like 10 bags of Kingsford charcoal every day on each of the grills. A lot of people come here, now I know why. I just got that because I want it. It looks amazing. And I haven't had a dessert in a long time. All right, we're 33 minutes, 20 seconds in. We're almost done with this stick. 80 ounces of steak, that's five pounds. All going right here. All right, last bite of steak. Done with five pounds of steak, two of their 40 ounce beef eater steaks. It is awesome that they have an all-you-can-eat salad bar as part of the meal, and they have pasta salad, pudding, and other stuff on the salad bar, too. I don't think I'm gonna have any more tonight.
The first salad had French dressing. This one's a little bit different, but it also has Italian dressing. We're down to just this baked potato. We'll use the other sour cream. This butter sour cream is obviously optional. All right, last bite of the potato. Ah, all right, done in 40 minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah. If I had only done one, you guys would say, Randy, what are you doing? That was a snap. Now, moving on, I don't think Molly's gonna come here and try three, but now people will be able to say that somebody came in and ate two and then had a piece of Reese's peanut butter pie for dessert. So yeah. let's finish this and give Katina something to shoot for after I get done. Oh, that is good. It's like I'm eating a Reese's. They don't make this here, I will say that, but this is probably one of the best desserts I've had in a very long time. Ah! Yeah! yeah. Ooh, I finished both of the steak challenges, the beef eater steak challenges, and then that piece of pie. 43 minutes and 16 seconds, yes. Mm. That was delicious. Did not need any A1 sauce or anything like that. Both of those steaks were amazing. I'm really happy that I finished one of the challenges and then moved on to the second. Enjoyed the salads that I made myself. Pedro behind me, great job cooking that steak, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you to Katie, my server, Brent, the GM here, everybody with the Janesville location of Prime Quarter Steakhouse. Winners, if you do this, like I said earlier, you get a medallion to come back and use later. $42 basically for the meal, but this is worth $35 next time you come in. I think they're letting me use one to pay for one of the meals, but I'll still have to pay for the rest, but regardless, that's okay. It was overall win number 1,042. I will have my name and photo up on their Beef Eater Steak Challenge Wall of Fame. So thank you guys all for cheering me on. I'm not sure where I'll be next weekend, I think around the Milwaukee area, but thank you guys for watching too.